Throughout the history, Nvidia had a very bad reputation with open source drivers and Linux, especially if you own a 20, 30 or maybe 40 series GPUs. And till now, Nvidia stayed proprietary, but finally they have decided to go open source in terms of drivers, which is indeed an amazing thing for Linux. But then we have another news over Nvidia. Intel and AMD had joined forces to compete against ARM chipsets like Snapdragon's and Apple's M-series. And to suck up all, in my opinion, the future of Linux does looks bright. Hello friends, I'm Oom and today I'm gonna dive into the latest news of open source release of Nvidia drivers, which indeed is in my opinion, a very strange thing to hear from Nvidia. But yes, Nvidia took the significant step towards openness by releasing their Linux Open GPU kernel module source code on online. And this specially includes Nvidia's Linux open source GPU kernel, the core component which provides the interface between Linux kernel and Nvidia GPUs. As we have seen in other CPUs and GPUs like Intel and AMD which work fantastic on Linux, they all use Mesa drivers. So you don't need to hassle with anything, you just have to install Linux and your drivers will be pre-installed with the kernel. That's the power of Linux but not for Nvidia. And finally, we can expect this happening in the future. Not with Mesa but CUDA drivers and OpenGL drivers. And as of confirmed news, this open source drivers support GPU acceleration proper one with hardware accelerated graphics rendering, CUDA drivers which is Nvidia's parallel computing platforms and you know OpenGL and Vulkan which are modern cross platform graphical APIs. And this news is a great news for Intel's or AMD CPUs using Nvidia GPU. You see developers can build the kernel module using these commands which gives them the option to customize, modify the code according to the Linux distribution and build it inside the kernel which means you don't need to spend hours and hours of time searching for the right Nvidia driver for your Linux distro. All you will have to do was just enter the command. Or maybe not that, just update the system and Nvidia drivers will be installed directly without you doing anything about it. This was the case with Ubuntu and still now and in my opinion that is great. Ubuntu gives us the opportunity to use Nvidia GPU with Valen support and that same can be said for Fedora in my opinion. Well yeah, I'm really waiting for Fedora 41 and when it will be launched, I'll just make it as my primary. Linux distribution over Arch Linux because in my opinion Fedora 41 will be a great release and yes the day it will be released a lot of videos about it are coming on the channel so don't forget to subscribe about it and now let's move to the advantages and limitations for Linux users. You see Nvidia's decision to open source drivers with Linux kernel modules is a game changer for Linux users. This move allows developers to build and customize the kernel modules to their specific needs which can lead to better community involvement, customizability and finally proper GPU support with Wayland. Imagine being tailored with your graphics drivers to optimize performance for your favorite game or application. This level of customization was previously impossible with proprietary drivers but finally the developers can inspect and modify the code according to Linux kernel. And the biggest advantage of Linux is the transparency. Open sourcing a driver provides insights into how they work which can lead to better understanding and troubleshooting which can also lead to better performance, better battery life and better optimization and efficiency throughout the Linux system. You see the open source driver supports various range of features including GPU acceleration, CUDA, OpenGL, Vulkan. They are also compatible with Turing or later GPUs including the popular models if you have one like Nvidia's Titan RTX 2080, 3040, you know most of the latest graphics card. And overall, Nvidia's decision to open source Linux GPU drivers is a significant step forward the Linux community and its future. It has the potential to accelerate, innovate and customize the Linux ecosystem which can mainstream the Linux market. And when I was being happy about this news, I just scrolled down and had another news. Intel and AMD are joining forces to create an x86 ecosystem 
a historic collaboration aimed for strengthening, powering the x86 architecture against the rising competition of ARM chipsets, particularly in the laptop and server market. Because as we have seen, ARMs are great for battery life and a little performance, like they're not properly optimized, but yes, they have the power in them. And you see the best part? The advisory group includes industries like Dell, HP, Lenovo, Microsoft, Meta, Google, as well as the creator of Linux, Linus Tovels, and Unreal Engine's architect, Tim Sweeney. This diverse membership will provide values of insights into various x86 aspects. For Dell, this partnership is a welcome development as it offers customers with more choices and flexibility. And with Intel and AMD together, the x86 architecture is poised to remain competitive in the face of emerging challenges. You see, we all seen that Intel's new Core Gen 2 series, then AMD's Ryzen AI series, all of them are so powerful. But the problem is, they're not that good for battery life. Like even if you have an Intel Evo certified laptop or a popular luxury laptop, even on them, the battery life won't be as good as your tablet or as an ARM powered laptop. But if this collaboration gets into success, then in my opinion, the world of personal computers will be changed forever. And by the word personal computers, I meant laptop, desktops, mobile phones, all the handheld drivers we have today. But how is this collaboration for Linux? Well, in my opinion, it's good. You see, improved x86 support, the joint forces will enhance Linux support for x86 architecture, which will in the end improve the performance, stability and compatibility. And then we'll have better hardware choices. As we know, just imagine two huge forces like Intel and AMD creating chipsets together. Not chipsets, like developing chipsets together. That is why Linux users can expect broader range of hardware options. And not to forget optimization. The joint optimization efforts will improve Linux applications on this x86 hardware. But what are the potential outcomes of it? Like improved I Intel, AMD and Nvidia's incorporate potential ability. Because as we know, the creator of Nvidia company once worked in AMD. So yeah. The collaboration could lead to a better incooperability between NVIDIA GPUs and AMD CPUs, which will indeed benefit Linux users. Now you might be wondering why, but I say just wait till you see with your very own eyes. And the joint efforts may drive innovation leading other better products and services for Linux users. And this collaboration could establish unified Linux standards for x86 hardware simplifying development and support. Now, balancing competition and cooperation between NVIDIA, Intel and AMD will be crucial for the development of PC market in the future, which is already thriving today. Just imagine how we will use personal computers two or three years ago and how we will use computers after two or three years ago. All in all, in my opinion, the Intel AMD collaboration has far-reaching implementation. While the challenges exist, the potential benefits will indeed improve the x86 architecture and in the end, Linux users will benefit. But I've been thinking like Linux towables in the collaboration of Intel and AMD. I'm just waiting for the day Linux goes mainstream into the market and we can see Linux out of the box providing in popular laptop and PC brands. Well, we don't know what might happen in the future, but we know what will happen today. And the best thing about it is the subscribe button. I hope you enjoyed the video and if you do, then subscribe for daily dose, mostly daily dose of awesome tech and Linux content uploaded on this channel. And I'll meet you next video. Till then, I'm Oong, signing out.